back so it's Kiyoshi I'm back for another video if you enjoy my videos please give them a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and without further ado let's just get into today's video all right you guys we're so excited are y'all excited it is the long awaited deck decor video ah, I can't wait for you guys to see everything even though everything ain't together yet we're gonna get together in this video but I am so so excited but let me do a disclaimer they are doing work at this house over here so you may hear some banging I apologize but other than that enjoy the sound of the trees and the birds chirping and a little bit of hammering but I could not do this video and not do it out on the deck right I had to do it on the deck because that's just just what you do when you end up doing a decor video right for your deck so i'm so so excited so this video is going to be in three parts so the first part is going to be the haul which i'm going to show you guys now and then we'll do the decorating part which it'll probably be on another day so i have on a different little outfit or whatever and then we're going to do the final reveal and then we will close out the video so make sure you guys get your snacks all your little things get your notebook because i'm gonna have all the links to as much stuff as I can if I don't have the actual items then I will have similar items because I did go to like Marshalls and places like that so they may not have they don't have that stuff online so I try to get similar items um, but most of the items I got like big ticket items I do have the actual links for for you guys so yay let's go ahead and get started all right, you guys so we are out on the deck like i said and we are going to do the haul first i'm going to show you everything that i bought for the deck everything that i purchased specifically for this project so the first thing i purchased that you guys know is the contractor to actually do the deck for me so as you guys know my front deck was just as raggedy as could be just a hot mess and it needed to be replaced for years so we got the front deck demolated demo demo demolished <laughs> demolished and rebuilt it is a eight foot wide by 12 foot length and it has the steps leading down to the actual ground area since it's higher on that side of the house than it is back here and then we got this beautiful enclosure built along with the outclosure over there so this area is 10 feet wide by 27 27 feet long and the enclosure portion is 10 feet wide of course by 14 i think and a half almost 15 feet i love it out here if you guys have been watching my vlogs i have not been showing you the items in the in the, in here i've been kind of like recording around so you don't see everything even though it's not put together in those videos i still didn't want you to see everything until we did this video so that was the first thing so this these two decks and this enclosure and all of this cost me around twelve thousand dollars to get done um so I also got a door put in that leads out to the deck area. You guys know I used to have a um, window, just a double window in my dining room area that looked out into this area. But of course, when I got the deck built, I wanted a sliding glass door, but they told me that I couldn't get one because of the limitations and I didn't want to take down my tea station. So we opted to do a French door. So I have a white French door with two big glass um like uh things now the one thing i have not purchased yet that i forgot to look into is the actual lining to go to the glass door i i don't like that you can see inside at night if it's bright i wanted to get like the mirror reflection where you can see out but you can't see in but we're working on that but i absolutely love the door it is a white door i do still have to paint around the outside white they did prime it but i do have to paint it so i haven't done that yet and by the time you see the reveal, it ain't going to be done either. So, we'll do that later. But that is the first purchase that I had to make, of course, because you can't get deck furniture if you ain't got no deck, that part. So, let's move on to the second big ticket item is the furniture that I am sitting on. So, as you guys know, the bestie came over and she helped me um, pick out everything, pretty much all of the decor. We went to stores, we went on Amazon and all of that, and she helped me pick out and kind of bring my vision to life. Um, so we did pick up this five piece set from Amazon and so I will pop a picture up here it is the five piece outdoor patio furniture 45 inch outdoor propane fire pit table outdoor furniture that's what the official name y'all six 
60,000 BTU outdoor fire pit with non-slip cushion waterproof covers in the khaki. So it's really the cushions are khaki, but the actual furniture itself is like a multiple like of gray and black kind of like that. And that kind of matches my home. You guys know I have a home with brown or wood accents and gray walls and wood and gray floors and cream color so it kind of goes with the vibe i wanted the vibe from the inside to flow to the outside so i wanted to look into that in my actual um, furniture and everything else so that was that so i paid a thousand and nineteen dollars for this set it shipped super super fast it really was timeline they told me i ordered on may 9th they said it would be shipped between the 16th and the 21st and i was kind of upset I was like god it's gonna take forever to get here i'm trying to have a party you know it's just taking too long but you know, Alicia's like half faith. They may ship it faster than what you think, and they did. So basically, ordered on May the 9th. The first set of boxes, it, it shipped in six boxes, so in two sets, came on May the 11th. And then the next set came that Monday on the 13th. So I got it super, super fast. It took me probably about half a day to put everything together. But other than that, it wasn't too hard to put together. Um, besides lining up the holes correctly and just everything just more time consuming than anything but super easy had really good um equipment and directions and even had little videos for the directions so it was really good to put together i knew i wanted a table with a fire pit because like i said in the fall and winter i definitely will be sitting out here but i want to be a little bit of warm but also you could not use anything that's wood burning you needed something that was propane um propelled so it came with a two-seater couch it came with a three-seater couch the propane fire pit table and it came with two chairs and all of the cushions and the two sofas came with two lumbar and of course the color is khaki and then every single piece came with a cover so i really really love that so when it rains i can cover it up even though it's waterproof you still want to keep it you know as clean and as dry as possible so every piece came with its own cover so that was great so those were the big this was the big ticket item that i purchased i also purchased my rug from them um it's just a gray rug and a five by eight that we're just gonna put down here in order to you know not walk on straight wood and have you know a little bit of comfort <laughs> when it comes to what is on the ground um and like i said it's just a nice gray color that goes with this theme the other item that i purchased was this cooler that rolls that sits up high what i love about it it has a bottle open on the front that catches the the actual um caps in this little cup in the front and then it has two sides to open it opens to the same is it's one big side but you can open on either other side so i could put like drinks on one side maybe beer cool wine coolers i don't know something on the other side liquor who knows child what we gonna have juice for the kids and i like that it rolls i like that it has handle and it has a little spout in the back so when the ice melts and there's water in there you can just open the spout and the water is easy to get out and so i really like that it's height you don't have to bend down bend over you know we're getting old and i got time to be bending down on the ground for that so that is that part so i those are the most big ticket items that i purchased and then everything else is pretty much decor that i'm going to go through with you guys that i did purchase um most of them in stores but some stuff i did purchase online so let's start behind me so you guys know this big tree I did purchase like months, months ago. I went, I went antique with Alicia. I found this tree. I did not have a clue where I was going to put this tree. I just knew I needed it. And now it is in the perfect spot out here on the deck. We have a nice little greenery. We're eventually going to get more greenery out here because you guys know I love my plants. Um, but I'm going to be very specific about the plants that I get. I'm going to get plants that were propel bugs and mosquitoes and stuff so we're gonna do a little research and we go with them the type of plants we're gonna have out here and to be a matter of fact i got two of these little pots from um marshall's to put those plants in so i have one here and i have one over there and these were $7.99 a piece they're like a grayish tan color really pretty goes good with the vibe and for $7.99 it was a steal so i do enjoy that i also want to have a little bit of ambiance in here sometimes i may not want the big lights on overhead i might just want a little you know chill back laid out vibe so i did get this nice little lamp i wish i could have found two it was 39.99 it's super cute and i just put it here on this little table and of course it plugs in 
but I love this. I love the wood and dark wood and cream colors. Goes very well with the theme out here. Um, so that's that. And this stuff is from Marshalls, unless I say anything else. And then the next thing I got was this like faux marble table. It's gray and white with the gray legs. We did find one with gold, but we figured that gray would go out here better. And these were on clearance. I did pick up two of them. They are the same size, even though they're nesting tables. And they were on sale for $32 a piece. So I did pick them up. Um, I don't think this table is going to stay here. I've been looking for another type of piece with a storage in it. I haven't been able to find, but for right now, this will do. So I kind of have it like staged up like that, but we are going to put some plants and stuff in there and I'll bring a little bit more greenery here. Moving on to the item that is sitting between the sofas. I did buy these nice, beautiful little like lantern farmhouse type candle holder things i don't know what to call it officially i love it because it has a faux candle on the inside that you can put batteries in and then it can give you a little bit of lighting as well it also opens at the top i don't know if you have to replace it i don't know why i would need to open but it opens at the top and these were on sale for 29 dollars. i did get both of them i got both the same size so i do have two of these one over here and one over there in front of me and they're by Urban Supply. And I did pick this up, like I said, from Marshalls. So I love that. Very nice. Wish they would stop all that banging. Moving on, you always need coasters. I should have probably got two sets of coasters. Because clearly I'm going to have more than four people out here. But we can always go back and get different coasters. So I did pick up this coaster set for $7.99. It just looks like this. It's just like a wood and brown color match the theme out here the since the furniture is all gray i wanted to pull in like woody wood colors and all the rest of the colors of the house in so they look like this um i guess i could take the little thing off so y'all can see a little better but there you go so they just look like that super pretty and yeah so we got some coasters this is just all these bad boys right there nice and cute i love the idea of having like signs out here or items to hang up because of course when you're in any room in your house you're going to have some kind of like some kind of wall art or some of some sort so i picked up this one that says serenity prayer that god so it's 16.99 um i just realized the little string on it is broken or there is no string so we got to figure out how to hang this up that part i think it was meant to like go like this but I want to actually hang it up over there. So we're just going to get us some command hooks and hang it up. But it's just a serenity prayer. I thought it was good and it was $16.99. Um, the next thing I got was, of course, an ice bucket. Because we're going to be out here. Sometimes we might have mimosas. You know, whatever you need to keep. The wine chill. The champagne chill. Maybe even just regular sparkling on New Year's. Whatever. You always need a good wine ice bucket so i got this one it was 19.99 it's sterling silver with wood accents it has the wood top as well very nice um so i did pick that up as well for 19.99 of course if i'm outside i gotta have a blanket because i'm always cold i'm always cold even in summertime i'm cold so i did pick up two of these like chevron blankets they're in like a beigey cream color to go with the theme they have the little roughly roughly things on the end and these were also on clearance for $20 so I got two of them for $20 and so these will be the little blankets that I keep out here that's out here for this area and this is the last item that I picked up from Marshall's if I'm not mistaken I think it is and I got this just I thought it was just so nice it's made out of plastic actually I picked this up from Target I got this from Target it's plastic but I love that it is plastic, so if you drop it, it hopefully won't break. And this is just like you can make some kind of sweet mixture or something, some special juice or something, and then you can put it out here, and then everybody can get their own juice. You can make a big tub and refill it. And this was $15. Oh, $15, a nice little drink dispenser for outside. All right, so the next thing I got was from Amazon. Of course, I had to get string lights because who doesn't have a deck with string lights nowadays? Like, your girl not going to be slipping and not have no string lights. So I got the string lights. 
they look like this they're shatterproof this is plastic um, they're black and they're like the Edison bulb and I got I think these are a hundred feet I believe uh, I can't remember I think they're a hundred feet I did get two boxes so I have 200 feet of lights so I really like they're, they're very lightweight which is perfect because I don't want to do like heavy stuff here so that's perfect and then from Home Depot, you guys know, since I do have posts all around here and posts out there, and I don't actually have any lighting on the back, like I don't have any floodlights or anything back here, it pours like nothing, child. So it was super, super dark, so I was trying to think of a way to like brighten it up. So I did end up going to Home Depot and getting these Hammond & Bay 2-pack white solar post caps. And they're for 3.5 3 by 3.5 um caps and it has an adapter for 5.5 inch and i did get 20 even though i have 19 posts some of my posts are too wide so i might have to like uh sand them down so they'll fit but other than that most of them fit on the post so it looks like this i got the white because i thought the white would go better than a darker color so i got the white and then like i said this is the adapter so if you have a bigger post and it won't fit you can put this on there on the post and then put it this on but mine doesn't need that part so i just stick mine on like this so you won't see this part around it because it's not needed there is a thing to pull this does use rechargeable batteries and it comes with the batteries which was a which was amazing because most of the stuff like this do not come with batteries these came with the rechargeable batteries they just need to be in the sunlight and then you can recharge them up i got was this cart it's a gray cart that i picked up from marshall it actually folds up when it's not in use but i'm not gonna need to fold it because it's gonna live out here on the deck and i like it because it's a three-tier cart you can use it for anything you can use it for plates and utensils for them to pick up when you're having a party or you can put extra drinks on there or you can put you know anything you want treats on there who knows i'm gonna figure it out like i'm gonna use it for a lot of different things and so i thought it was really a good um area to put something like that in since i can't necessarily fit a chair there or anything like that without getting in the way i did want it to be functional so i thought that was a really good item to get you guys and then the last thing i got were these curtains i know some people said to get blinds instead of curtains maybe one day we'll get blinds but i just don't feel like being bothered with blinds blinds are very expensive and I just don't feel like being bothered with it right now. Um, so maybe we'll get blinds in the future. But right now I just got curtains. And I feel like I would be a person who have curtains and blinds. Just because that's who I am. But either way it goes. We got curtains right now. And I got them in this like grayish silver color. Which is going to go perfect without here. Um, for the future I do want to get a projector and a screen over here. To be able to pull down so we can watch movies out here. And chill and do whatever. So I... Be looking for maybe some upgrades and stuff in the future. But for now, this is everything that I have bought for the deck. So yeah, let's move on to the decorating portion. just made it home from work and it is may the 14th and we have all six boxes for our patio set so i'm going to build them here in the living room pray for me greedy 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 over there <laughs> eating her din din i'm gonna put the chairs together first and then we'll work on the sofas and see how this gonna go. So be entertained. Protecting my 
my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody else let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Like I know I should Like I know I could Like I know I could Like I could If you would show me yeah. If you would show me yeah, yeah. If you would show me yeah, yeah. I spent so much time daydreaming So now I don't know how I'm feeling Don't know who is the real me Might need more help than I thought I needed I can see Need more healing More believing Less deceiving Nah, don't go around nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know definitely went faster probably took me more like 10 15 minutes so here's the two chairs that will go out there they pretty they're pretty deep but they're low to the ground so that's not always a bad thing so they go all the way back you can sit all the way back of course they'll have the cushions in it you can even have enough room to prop up so pretty big chairs. Leisure. So yeah. Very nice big wide arms. I love that. Great. All the bad news, cause I just can't deal with the loose loose situations you have to go through. I think I need therapy now. Recycling all the same doubts. Heard it a million times Cause I tell myself all the same lies I'm in me therapy too I dilute all the bad news Cause I just can't do it to lose lose Situations you have to go through I think I need therapy now Recycling all the same doubts Heard it a million times Cause I tell myself all the same lies So we're gonna start decorating today this is the base of what i have right now in the moment so i have this little tree that you guys see that i had from an antique haul when me and alicia went antiquing months ago i've been having that tree in my living room for the longest at the front door so it's gonna fit perfect out here and then these are the patio furniture that i got from amazon all put together i was sweeping in here to kind of clean up the wood a little bit and then we have the rug down i don't know if i like the rug this way or not or if i want to try it this way but we'll have to do that a little bit later i'm going to try to get the curtain rods hung up today i didn't show you guys those in the hall portion because i didn't have them yet so i'm going to show you what they look like right quick and then we're going to try to work on getting them hung up um today so Hold on one second. All right, you guys. So I know I said I was going to talk about doing like the PVC pipe, but it was just too complicated. They didn't have everything I needed at the Home Depot or Lowe's in order to actually hang them. They had everything I needed to make the rod, to do the end cap, to cut it, but they didn't have anything that I could use to hang it that would be convenient. So I just went ahead and paid the money and got regular 
rides. It is what it is. If these ever get rusty, crusty, then I'll have hooks, existing hooks, and maybe I'll replace them with rock, with PVC pipe later. But for right now, this is what we got. So I got just a straight black cover color. Let's see if you can see with no with a minimal direct decorative edge because I don't really care nothing about decorating out here. This one goes 72 inches to 144. If you guys know, 10 feet is 120 inches. And then this 15 feet or 14 and a half is like 180. So I got one to go there. And then I got another long one to go here. And then I'm going to supplement it with a shorter rod, which goes from 36 to 72. So I'm hoping it's not too long because 36 and 44 is like 70 something. Might be 200. It might not go. I just thought about it. That might be too long. We're going to find out. We'll have to time it or if the lowest for this one is 36 and that is 180, what I'll do is I'll subtract 36 from this one and that's how long I'll make this rod so they can fit there together. And these two ends will probably end up budding together and that's fine because that's why I got it minimal. So we're going to work on doing our pilot holes right now for right here. So we're going to hang this side first. Um, and then we'll move all the furniture this way and then we'll hang this side and then these two are going to be the tricky ones because they didn't make this piece of wood the same level as that piece of wood. So I'll have to hang this side different, which they get on my nerves because why is this shit not symmetrical? That part. But anyway, that's what happened. So I have to work on that, but we'll get that together, but I'll be right back. think I love it I love it I love it I love it ah yes and you notice it looks a lot darker in here which will keep it cooler but when you open it up we'll be able to open two to this way and then two this way and it probably won't go all the way back in the corner because the tree will be there but we'll figure it out and I just love it. 
it just makes it look a little bit more elevated i wish i could go all the way to the house but it's not going to be able to go all the way to the house so that's fine because of the way the wood is i could have put it down there but i don't think i want to go that far or what do you guys think should i go all the way to right there does it really matter per se i don't know but i love it you guys i think it looks really nice give it an elegant vibe so i'm gonna go ahead and put up the rest and then i'll show you guys when i'm done all right you guys this was an all day affair putting up these curtains you hear me so i have two panels there two panels there so this wall has a total of four panels this wall has a total of six panels so three on this side and three on that side two of them will stay in the middle two will stay on the end and two will stay on that end and then this side has a one panel on each side so two panels in total i'm going to get two more panels um because i want to be able to cover the door if necessary um and then i just thought about it i was supposed to be getting a projector so i think i'm going to figure out how to attach the projector like on one of these beams so it comes down in front of this bar instead of behind the bar because i was going to like attach it to this but since I want the bar to go all the way across in case we want to cover the door too, um, since it's not, uh, what do you call it? Uh, since it's just screened in, we might want to cover the door as well. Not sure, but that is what it's looking like out here. So the next thing to do is try to figure out how to hang the string lights. So I do want to hang the string lights from the actual curtain rod but i don't know if that's going to be too heavy or not we'll figure it out but if not then i do have these screws that i've had for years and i knew one day they would come in handy child but what did i do with them i just found them earlier today oh and i was looking at them and i was like oh these might work really really well so i'm going to try these out and then i found a little trick on the line on how to get them to screw in quickly so this is what the hooks look like they're like this big but they're perfect for um, doing what I need them to do um, I've already tested them out with the uh, actual cord of the string lights so we're gonna get those up and see if we can get these string lights hung oh y'all it's coming together I am so excited can't wait for you guys to see everything and it's final done position a so i'm going to open up all the curtains because the curtains make it a little darker in here but it's also kind of like a cloudy day so we're gonna open up all the curtains set them how they should go and then we'll work on trying to get the first set of string lights hung up yeah look how they looking at me i think they influenced by me they're sitting up with me, all right. Wish I didn't looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. She want me to show some things. But right now, I'm focused on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tightrope. I never fall off this light work. No one's people trying to see me down real bad. Same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pot, bitch. Shipping my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drops. Tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me because they see I'm gifted. It's all from the soil. So like I said, I did get 200 feet of stream light, so 100 feet each. And so I just need to plug it in and make sure it's stable in the plug and won't pull too much before I go like back and forth with it. Imagine sun shining, pink clouds in the sky, and everything is right. Imagine stars lighting up the night, and the shooting star is so vibrant, you have to make a wish. Nothing's ever in your way, scoring every shot you make. No, you've never heard of pain, because you're just high. Every day is Saturday, life is sweet as birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? A 
totally peaceful mind Never need a second try Know you get it right the very first time It could be the best of days It could be the best of times Why do we need the troubles? Why? Why do we need the troubles? Why? Nothing's ever in your way Sweetest birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? I finally got the lights and the curtains up. Took all freaking day. Of course, I'm going to re-record. I moved the rug around. I like it better like this. And that's what it looks like. That's just how it looks when it's closed. And then this one, I have like curtains in the middle, curtains on the side, curtain on the side, curtain on the side. I need to get two more panels for this one. I'm trying to think how I can use these, but we'll see. Um... And then that's what it looks like. I just got through sweeping everything. I'm so tired. My damn feet hurt <laughs> doing this all day. It was no joke trying to get them dirt curtain rods up. Now that we have the base of the actual patio deck area mapped out. So we have all our furniture where we want it to be. We have our rug where it should be. And I'll show you some clips of what the layout looks like with nothing in it. We're going to start decorating and we're going to start from here and then push our way back this way. And I will just be incorporating everything in that I bought in the hall into this space so that we can finally, finally enjoy it in its entirety. Um, and I am so excited to do the decoration and for you guys to see the final reveal. So let's get to it. She's all of our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able To win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go
know what I want Yeah, I'm here talking to myself like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my, out here on my own Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that'll make her feel better Make her feel better And that's where she'll go
right you guys so that is the end of today's video are you so excited as i am to sit out here and enjoy this space all summer fall winter spring summer fall winter long i am i can't wait to the fall to use the fire table like i am just so excited for this space like i said this has been 10 years in the making i have been dreaming of this space for 10 years and it is finally here and i am so ready to enjoy it i just want to tell you guys now prepare to be sick of me out here on this deck okay just be prepared to be sick of me because you're gonna be sick of me you're gonna be tired of me sitting out here you're gonna be tired of me talking about it. you're gonna be tired of me chilling doing whatever but i am gonna be out here i'm gonna get my money's worth we're gonna be outside all summer long into the end of time that part so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments below what you guys think and i will see you guys in the next one bye